Hello, um, welcome to vlog 25 and welcome to summer. It's absolutely glorious, but still no rain, so loads of watering happening. Um, and the broad beans are beginning. These are my younger daughter's favourite, so these are all for her and she's very excited about it. Can I eat one? Go on. Mm. Yes! Mm. <laughs> Taste of heaven. Mm. I can see the light. Mm. <laughs> mm. So apart from enjoying the produce, um, this week on the plot we've been mainly watering. We've also been doing some weeding because despite the lack of rain, the weeds are growing very vigorously. Um, I've been really pleased that we've not had a huge amount of slug damage because it's been so dry. And the ants do seem to have relocated after the garlic watering last week, which is brilliant. So in this video, I'm just going to show you a strawberry planter that we made a couple of years ago and how I'm restocking that. And... I'm going to be planting out some cucumbers into the polytunnel and yeah, just pottering around really. So I hope you enjoy watching. Hi, so a couple of years ago we put in this um, pallet as a kind of fence on our border of the allotment, on our boundary and since then um, it's been housing some strawberries which has been lovely and because they've grown up in the top and kind of cascaded down they haven't been as bothered by slugs and things like that um, but unfortunately the really hard winter killed off all the strawberries so um, I'm finally getting round to replanting it. So I'm just going to tidy up this little area. I'm going to top up the bags because if you can see we use small compost bags and um, just turn them inside out and pinned them all the way around um, and filled those with compost. So I'm going to top those up with compost and replant the strawberries.
it. Um, so some of these already have some strawberries on there um, and hopefully they'll send out runners over this summer and then I'm going to put some soil into this old drawer and I'm going to put more strawberries in there for next year. So as we send the runners down I'll peg them into the soil there and we'll have even more. So I just wanted to show you here at the back how we put this together and um, we just stood the pallet on its end and we drove in these ground stakes, these metal ground stakes into the ground through, th just straight through the pallet really. We put one in the middle, one at each end and then we put the compost bags inside out just so they looked a bit nicer, um, although the stuff hasn't grown around it as I expected so you could do it either way. Um, and you could also kind of cut down some other pallets and add those in um, to cover the bags and just nail those into the pallet that, as it is, as it exists. Um, we might do that at another date if we ever get time. But yeah, that's all we did. And then we just used a staple gun to staple the bag all around and filled it with compost and put a few drainage holes in. So Imi has grown these from seed for the past few years now and she collects the seed each year and then re-sows it and this year we have these incredible fluffy multiple petal heads. They almost look like dahlias, they're just beautiful. So very exciting indeed. So you might be noticing at the moment that your garlic is sending up these flower buds. These are called scapes and they're quite often curly um, and very edible. So it's almost like a little bonus harvest. You can just pick these off. It won't affect the garlic that you're growing beneath the ground at all. Um, it just stops it from flowering and so the energy carries on going into the bulb um, and these are absolutely delicious. There's loads of recipes online so do have a look but just fried in some butter is really really good. So unfortunately my early cucumber sowings did really badly and they all dampened off and just shriveled up and died. So these are a late sowing. I've got two cucumbers and two gherkin plants. I'm going to put the gherkins outside and just see how they fare. Um, and I'm putting the two cucumbers into this big tub. It's actually some um, kind of tubing that is used on building sites. And i am just filled it with manure and a bit of compost. And I'm going to plant my cucumbers into here. And then I'm going to use a support that I made in previous years, which allows the cucumbers to be trained around and around the support. And basically you can fit a lot more cucumber vine into a smaller space.
Last week, I noticed there were loads of bees um, all around the roof of our workshop in the garden. Now, after a bit of research, I found out that these are tree bumblebees and they are waiting for new queens to come out of the nest. So that's about it for today. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again next time.